What's going on, guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today, we're going to be reacting to John Noakes Skelly Nelson's column is terrifying. This video is from 1977. I really don't know much about John Noakes. From what I understand, he was a British children's television presenter. The first thing that comes to mind when I hear British children's television presenter is basically something like a British version of Mr. Rogers in America. But considering he's here climbing some sort of terrifying column, I'm guessing that John Noakes probably isn't exactly like Mr. Rogers uh, was in America. I'm guessing since this is 1977, he is probably either retired or passed away at this point. Um, but I've definitely seen his name mentioned on a pretty regular basis in the comments, especially since I started doing the Fred Dibnaw videos. So I'm guessing he does a number of things sort of similar to what we're probably going to see in this video clip. Uh, so anyways, guys, I don't really have anything to add. I thought it would be really interesting to check out this person since, since I've seen his name mentioned so much. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and check out John Noakes, Skelly Nelson's column in 1977. Oh, just about, I think. Ooh, I'm a bit <laughs> stiff, I think. <laughs> Here we go. It's a long way, isn't it? It is, yeah. How high is it? Oh, it's about 180 feet, I think. Oh, man. Oh, this part, dude. Oh, I'll never get over that. Man. It's <laughs> fixed on. They're oh, firmly. They're right. Yeah, they're right. Dude, the ladder looks like it's twisting a little bit, even. Quite firmly around the actual column itself. Yeah. Oh, I said ladder is punch. Oh my goodness. Like, you know? Oh, well, you're man. going up first, are you? Yeah, I'll be going up first. Well, if you All go right. first, now I'll follow. Okay. okay. Dude. I've climbed up Nelson's column once before, nearly 10 years ago, but that ascent was easy. The column was surrounded by scaffolding, and it was a fairly gentle climb from. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, 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 no. I've climbed up a bunch of ladders in my day. You know, well, not bunches, but, you know, I've climbed up quite a number of ladders. But uh, nothing like this. You know, this, okay, maybe to that, but, like, I don't know about this, man, and the, and the, and the parts over the ledge. Oh, man. Uh, this is kind of <laughs> continuing uh, from the Fred Dib last Fred Dibnaw video I did. Oh, my goodness, man. Uh all right, let's continue. <laughs> One stage to the next. Yeah. This so, was going to be a lot harder. Once I reached the base of the actual column, there was only one way up, vertically. Mm. That first bit of the ladder doesn't have wobble. Right. Gummy, so I'm held on with a rope against the lightning conductor. <laughs> oh, I thought this was a like a metal column or something at first. Like I don't know, it looked like it from the base down there. It's actually like uh, concrete or something. Tell me that before I set off. I was wondering if it was metal. How they put the the what they call the dogs in? Ah, oh, dude. Oh, man, no, 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 no. I think I'll have a little rest at this point. You have to take a rest every so often when climbing a ladder this long. Otherwise, your muscles weaken and you could easily lose your grip and fall. Our cameraman, Terry, was waiting at the top and he really did have a bird's eye view of me reaching the worst part of the climb. At this level, the plinth on which Nelson stands overhangs the column. I found myself oh. literally hanging from the ladder with nothing at all beneath me. Ugh. <laughs> no. You told me there was overhang, but you didn't tell me it lent to one side. No. Did you? That was the awkward part. Oh, God. It's a long way wow. really, isn't it? Right. You're gonna tie me on. <coughs> just I'm, to make you're gonna tie me on just to make me feel safe. Yeah, I'll tie you on. Right. Just, just move around here a little bit more. Yeah. And I'll just put a quick tie around. You've here. really finished up here, have you? Yeah, but we've still got some more work to do down below in the bosun's chairs. How do you oh you just lower yourselves over? Yeah, just you just sit in the bosun's chair and you lower yourself over. How do you actually clean it? Do you have to scrape it all off? Yeah, we scrape it off with trowels, transfer it into the buckets, yeah. and, then and then down to the bottom. All the way. Yeah. Okay. So is this guy, I get, is he considered a steeplejack sort of like Fred Dibnaw was? Um, 
I'm guessing he is. I mean, I think that's generally what you would call pretty much most of the people that do these types of climbs. And they do everything from tearing them down, like Fred Dibnov did in that first video I watched of his, to, you know, probably painting, to maybe even climbing up there, setting up flags, cleaning like they're doing here. Sounds like they're scraping off some sort of, I don't know what it would be. Uh, just, I guess, where? I don't know. Can we see the others? Oh, there's, there's big thing up here, yeah. Isn't there? Yeah, there's a post office tower. Oh, yeah. And you've got Buckingham Palace. Yeah. St. Paul's over yeah, that side. Yeah, it's supposed over that way, yeah. He's got the penthouse suite, hasn't he, this fella? This, yeah, this fella has, <laughs> yeah. Wow. He's What's doing all right. Right then. This is called Just Nelson's Column. Nelson's Column. Is this still there? I'm guessing it's probably still there. I don't see why they would have tore this down. Okay. Get your other foot in. Right. Yeah. Just get comfortable first. Before you go anywhere, just get comfortable. Yeah. Now, which one? Now, now this, this is the knot that you allow yourself with, this one here. Yeah. All right? If you just put your right hand on that knot, OK? Yeah. And just you, that's it. You're all right there. Yeah. Now, if you just stand up a second, that's it, and sort of push push down, push your weight down on it like that. Oh, yeah. Now slide the knot down a bit. That's it. Now push down a bit more. Now, when you get down to where you want to go to, Right, just pull this knot and tighten it a bit, okay? Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Okay? When you're lowering, you just slacken it off a touch slacken like that. Don't, don't slacken it off too much, okay? Yeah. And just slide down. Just inch your way down, oh. six inches at a time. Now just look over the edge there and see those steps down there. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Oh, man. He's going over the... Is he going over the edge? <laughs> you kneel down on the on the, Guess on the he face is. there. If I kneel down, I'll start praying, I think. <laughs> 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 Get your other knee down there as well. Yeah. It's a bit of a technique, I suppose, that you Yeah, when, once you've mastered it, you're all right, practice. you know. I'll help you down anyway. <laughs> Get me on the foot. That's it. Down. If you look over the edge, you can see all the footholds. Just... I'd rather not look over the edge, actually. It's one of those sort of sights that you can do without. <laughs> Move down a couple more feet. Oh, man. No, That's no, no. Oh, oh. Why don't no, 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 no. Why don't you your hands on there too much? <laughs> I'll get me foot. This is even a little bit crazier than some of the stuff I saw Fred Dibnod doing for the simple fact, this guy's like, he's he's not a professional with this. He's not a professional steeple jack. He's, he's a television presenter. So this is like, yeah, I mean, just, he said he's climbed this tower before, but uh, I guess he probably hasn't done this before, uh, dropping down below. I guess this is how they're going down to clean the thing, I'm guessing. Put on that piece That's of... It. Once Run. you've got a decent foothold, you, know, you can let yourself down a bit more then. Yeah. Keep going down a bit more. You want to get quite a bit lower, really. That's it. Get your knot just below that piece there. What do you call those chairs they said on well. a bolts? Is it a bolson chair? I think that's what right. you call it. Now tie, tighten your knot up really well now. Go on. Pull up the slack. Tighten it really well. Right. Okay? Yeah. You coming down to join me? Yes, I'm coming right down there now. <laughs> okay? Did you oh, do it all right? Oh, yeah, man, dude. Good. Uh. Right out, John, I'm coming down. I'm glad about that. He's getting a bit lonely down here. <laughs> it's not very easy, is it? But No. When you've done it a few times, it doesn't... Come so hard. Do you still get a bit sort of nervous yourself yeah. at times? Lots of times, yeah. Now all this pigeon dropping that's around. That's what they're cleaning up. Has it been cleaned the last time I was up on the uh, scaffolding? Yeah, 1968, here. yeah. So I can't remember why I came up. I've forgotten why I came up today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Radio. And what we do, we usually tie this to our seat. Yeah and just trowel it and put it in. I'll tell you what, there's only one bucket and only one trowel, so <laughs> I'll just swing around to watch you work. OK, then, see how right. the experts do it. Rightio. So I've got my work cut out, <laughs> hanging on to this, I think. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's the stuff, John. Oh, man. 
Is that just pigeon droppings? Is that what that is? I guess it, I don't know what else it would be. They probably lay nests in those little holes or something. Definitely a very fun, funny feeling is that, isn't it? It is a funny feeling, oh. yeah. Wait, ha not very nice when it rains, are there? When you can see no. him come up. Wait, that's not him. That's the guys over there. That's it. Oh. How are you? Fine. Good. It's the experience of a lifetime, actually. It is, isn't it, isn't really? It? But we do it every day of the week. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad to say I only do it once every nine years. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose before I go down, I had to go right to the yeah, very top. why not? Oh, I'm man. Again. Kind of <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'd have to do it, too. I, I would be, uh, man, I have a fear of heights, but, again, I, I try to push myself with them when I have that opportunity. And if I had already climbed with there, yeah, there's no way I could leave without going to the top. You got to. It's just, you have to. Have another look at him. Mind you, I did say that. You'd be disappointed in yourself if you didn't, <laughs> no matter how fearful heights you are. Mm, that's where it gets me where the ladders over overhang each other or whatever like kind of where they're bent like nah dude <laughs> by gum yeah, that's a bit dirty no mind I don't suppose anybody will see that Dude, man. Mm. I don't know about you, but I feel dizzy just watching that film. I think that Johnny bit. was extremely brave. Mind you, as Johnny himself said, if it hadn't been for a very brave cameraman called Terry, who was up there as well, mm -hmm. there wouldn't have been that. any film to show anyway. Very brave, both of them. I was actually about to um, mention the cameraman. And like, you know, normally I haven't really said much about that on the Fred Dibnov videos I've done, mainly because I think the Fred, the cameraman was either on the ground or was on like some sort of like, uh, like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a, uh, he's basically a, a tattoo platform or something and wrote and raised up into the air. Uh, so although that's still, you know, it's just not as, this is crazy. The, the cameraman was actually on top before John Noakes climbed up top. But I thought this was really cool, guys. I don't know what exactly John Noakes did on a regular basis. This is basically what he did. He did all sorts of things like this. Um, he went around basically, his, I'm guessing the way it sounds, he was a children's television presenter, and he goes and does climbs like this. This is supposedly his second time on this. That tells me that he must have done a lot of really interesting things. Maybe he was trying to show kids in the 1970s uh, different jobs. You know, maybe that's what he was trying to do. Uh, Mr. Rogers did sort of the same thing, but never did anything like crazy like this that I know of. Um, he was more of like, you know, just kind of, I'm sure a lot of you know who Mr. Rogers is. So I don't need to explain that, but uh, but this was really cool, guys. Um, I definitely, I'm definitely interested in John Noakes, considering uh, this is the first video I saw of him, and uh, it sounds like he may have done quite a few of other interesting things. So please, if you know of some really interesting things John Noakes has done, uh, please feel free to share them in the comments. Uh, I would love to see those types of videos because um, I really don't. This is the first time I'm seeing him. But uh, I thought this was really interesting. Um, definitely, I was enjoying the Fred Dibnaw stuff. I'm still going to check out more Fred Dibnaw stuff. But this gives me a new interesting character from that roughly that same time period, roughly the 70s. I'm guessing probably in the 80s as well. And uh, definitely like check more of his videos out. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys. Peace.